Darrow's kind of been in, on my mind since I was a young boy. So, but I came in and first day and took class and hung out for rehearsals and came the next day and gave him my contract. <laughs> that was 15 years ago. <laughs> and then fast forward to today, uh, when you heard that Chocadero was going to be in Spoleto, and in, which is in Charleston, I mean... Awesome, awesome, because I've been waiting <laughs> for years <laughs> for the company to, to be scheduled to come and dance here, whether it's Spoleto or anything else, um, but our schedule... So after 15 years, is it uh, still fresh to you? I mean, it seems like an obvious question, but... Um, yeah, sometimes. Um, <laughs> sometimes. I mean, we are a rep company, so a great deal of the time we do a lot of the same pieces over and over again. But what keeps it fresh for me is um, to just kind of pick apart sections of, of whatever piece that it happens to be and kind of tweak around and see if, you know, how I can make it a little bit different, um, still adhering to the form of it and, and, you know, a little bit different and sometimes a little bit better and sometimes I, I watch, you know, other like real ballerinas um, when they do certain roles and sometimes they'll do things a little bit different and I try and see how I, I can figure that in sometimes, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But um, I'm always constantly, it's, it's constantly, um, you know, upkeep. You can't just get complacent and that's it and get caught into the habit of just doing the same thing over and over again. Because mm -hmm. it not only gets boring for you, but the audience right. begins to kind of, you know, it needs to always have a spark. So. So, what's, so for somebody else who is a younger dancer who mm -hmm. is seeing you in a situation that you saw another dancer when you were a kid, mm -hmm. what, would, uh, what would you hope for them to take away from seeing you perform tonight? Oh, just the... Uh, I don't know, I, I guess I'd have to say just the... I would hope that they would see that if they are as passionate about about it as I was as a kid and still am as an adult, um, you know, to just keep going and never stop and don't give in to your, your own fears that you might not make it and certainly not uh, giving in to the bad advice that some more experienced people might give you that could be on the negative side, you know. Always follow your heart and keep it going and uh, surround yourself with the right people and a positive attitude. So.